Everybody, welcome to the final recap of The Bachelor on the Wings of Love. Yeah, it's a cheesy song, but it worked. So it's down to Vienna and Tenley. They're in St. Lucia, baby, and he loves them both. It's too good to be true. No, really, it is. <laughs> so Jake's family arrives. Oh boy, what a crew. Jake's all like, oh, both girls laugh at my really cheesy jokes. And the sister-in-laws are all like, nah, 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 that's great. It's so important. Mom immediately picks up on Vienna being the girl who's the one that everyone hates. <sighs> Whore. And yeah. <sighs> Tenley right. Well, let me just say, mom wears the pants in the family. It's painfully obvious. So, Tenley arrives first, and of course, everybody thinks Tenley is so freaking great. She's sweet, and polite, and agreeable, but Jake doesn't know if he can roughhouse with her, because she's just so perfect. Dad's a crier. Oh, I saw that coming a mile away. <laughs> I think Tenley's perfect for the father. I don't know. Uh, poor Tenley. I really feel sorry for her. Uh, she's always trying to be everything to everyone, and she's got no personality whatsoever. I'm afraid that at the end of the day, when she's all alone, she puts on a dominatrix suit and tortures puppies. She's got to get that anger out somehow. Uh, what did everybody think of the impromptu wet t-shirt contest at the end of the family date? Creepy. Yes. So Vienna shows up next and Jake totally blew it because he told his family that she was the problem child. She was the one that everybody hated in the house and nobody got along with because she was there for her, not anyone else. So the family was really not liking her in the beginning and she had really had a tough time trying to convince everybody that she's just trying to be herself. So Jake is a Hillary Duff fan. <laughs> Big deal. Who cares? I gotta respect Vienna for being honest. It's not easy when you meet a whole new room full of people and you got your own opinions. But it was like crazy. The family had an epiphany and they totally turned on a dime because Jake was probably like, <laughs> you're overdoing it a little bit. Uh, it's time to come to the dark side now because this is a girl I'm picking. I knew it from the first episode. So all of a sudden they were so into Vienna and the mom is so confident and everything is wonderful. Well, it's time for the final date. So Jake and Vienna were up first. They go to an active volcano and uh, there's a sulfur spring filled with volcanic ash. They do some mud wrestling. He can't keep his hands off her. She writes, I love you on his stomach. Everything is literally falling into place. So, Jake arrives at Vienna's room that night, and she tells him that she's learned from her three-week marriage. <laughs> she's never going to do that again. That was stupid. So, she has a little present for him, as they all do. Uh, she gives him her promise ring that she gave, that her dad had given her uh, for not being, you know, don't be stupid anymore. This is your promise. Don't go eloping with the first guy that you see. <laughs> so... It had a short note full of cliches. What is The Bachelor not full of cliches? No overnight dates? I thought the last date was always an overnight date. Well, the final date with Tenley was a trip on a yacht snorkeling on the coral reefs. Jake had to go ruin it, though. He's all like, I'm tired. <sighs> Red flag, honey. That means he's just not that into you. Wake up. He tells her there's no physical chemistry. He tells her point blank there's no physical chemistry. And she's like, what's the difference between physical and sexual? She really didn't get any answers on that date. Uh, later on, he arrives in her room and he apologizes for being honest. But he still loves your smile. Isn't that precious? So she gives him a photo box of junk that she had saved from the show. And all I'm thinking is Vienna is going to love throwing that out. <laughs> Sorry, Tenley. Uh, they do some lie down kissing and date over. So Jake is still torn. He's like 
deciding up to the last minute. The guy shows up with the boxes of rings. One of the girls likes a princess cut, and the other one likes a round. Gee, I wonder which one is the princess, Vienna. So he takes both rings, and he talks to them, and then finally he's ready. He's made his decision. It's time for the choppers to come. Vianley gets out of the chopper. I'm sorry, Tenley gets out of the chopper. She's so happy. She's so disillusioned. <laughs> Oh, he tells her, I love you, and you're perfect. Yes, you are. It was like a Mary Murphy moment. It doesn't feel right, though, Tenley. <laughs> Don't know why. So he kisses her off, but not before he says, Now, I cannot even make this stuff up. There is some part of me that is not coming naturally. <laughs> I can't make it up. Draw your own conclusions. He performs an almost perfect rail cry, which is now coined a mesnic. Uh, he's, she's too good for me. I couldn't possibly be as perfect as she is. And he's Mr. Perfect. So Vienna arrives, and he totally fakes her out. He gives her back the promise ring that her dad had given her, that she had given him. And she, she's probably thinking, like, he's going to dump my ass, but no. He gets down on one knee and proposes. Cue the cheesy on the wings of love music and the cheesy montage of the season. Yeah. All right. So now at this point, um, I was going to do the Dancing with the Stars reveal, but since the celebrity part, not the celebrity partners, the professional partners are going to be announced on Good Morning America the Dancing with the Stars cast uh, vlog will be tomorrow afternoon, and uh, we'll have a discussion on how great this freaking season of Dancing with the Stars is going to be. I definitely agree with Tom Bergeron and Melissa Rycroft. This is the best season ever. All right, so after the final rose, we don't even have to wait till tomorrow or next week. Tenley, bring her out. She gets a standing ovation. For what, being stupid? She has a short dress on, though. I see she's foxing it up a little bit. Maybe she's thinking she's in contention to be the next Bachelorette. So they have a whole recap of his kiss-off. It was very emotional. She's all like, I don't understand. Honey, there was five million red flags. How about when he point-blank told you that he feels nothing physically for you? So let's bring out Jake, because he's got to answer a few questions, because she just doesn't get it. She's like, what did you mean by physical? This is so embarrassing. Does he have to say it to your face? He doesn't want you. <sighs> then she brings up the only intelligent thing that I think she said this season. Was it unfair to Vienna that you loved me? <sighs> I would say yes, but he never answered it. And he said, my heart still hurts for you. I will always love you. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. I can't believe she actually thanked him. I would have been like, go to hell. All right, so, yeah, like I said before, the rail cry is now a mesnic. It had to be. Jason perfected it. So, let's bring out Jake in Vienna for the first time anywhere. We just want to go to dinner together because we haven't even been able to show our faces together. And the whole show was magical. I recommend it to everyone. Everyone go on The Bachelor. The tabloids were not very kind to Vienna, and Jake says nothing that they printed was true. I know why I love her, even if no one else does. He's such a gecko. <laughs> so, yeah, right after the show, Vienna is moving to Dallas immediately. Because flying to Florida is too far for a booty call. I'm sorry. So they've got no plans for a wedding yet. They're just going to like chill. So Chris Harrison pulls out of the bag a little trip to St. Lucia. Maybe this will convince you kids. We need another successful couple. So then Jeffrey Osborne comes out and sings on the wings of love while they have a very uncomfortable dance. And yes, he did dip her. Didn't someone say that that was Tenley's move? She's probably stabbing the wall behind the stage. Uh, all right, so it's time to announce the new Bachelorette. Hey, it's Allie. Oh, boy. She, apparently, she's pretty popular. 
not with me, but like everyone else in the United States or maybe the world. How is she going to get off from work? That's what I want to know. She couldn't stay on the, the Bachelor long enough to uh, hook up with Jake. How is she going to be the Bachelorette? I guess she's finally quitting that job. Duh. So she wants a funny, smart, quirky guy. Are you? Do you mean like Jack Black? <laughs> but most importantly, she wants a happy ending. Because she just wants to be happy. Alright, next week... Jason and Molly get hitched on TV. Till next week, much love.